Hi, I'm Jill Fry, and today I'm going to show you how to use the ND filter tool with your Pluto Trigger. And you're going to see how easy it is to use it when you want to use your neutral density filters. So I'm here at Clifton Springs, which is near Queenscliff in Victoria. And it's about two o'clock. And as you can see, it's a cloudy day and there's quite a strong wind. And so there's a little bit of ruffle of water. Anyway, normally people don't tend to take photos at this time of the day with their neutral density filters. However, I'm going to show you that it is possible and I'm going to show you the results that you get. And I'm going to show you how to use the Pluto trigger to take all the guesswork out of your exposure time. So first things first, what equipment do you need? Obviously you need your camera, your Pluto trigger, your filters, and in this case I use my Nissi 10 stop filter, and you're also going to need a tripod. Set up your camera on its tripod but don't put on your filters yet. Get your composition right and turn your dial to M, to manual. Make sure you put in F16 and make the ISO as low as possible. On my Canon 6D, I can put it down to L, which is 50 ISO. And you need to do this in the menu to make sure that you can put it down this low. However, other cameras only go as low as ISO 100, and that's fine. Just put it onto that with your F16, and then select your time to correctly expose the shot. Once you've exposed your shot, then turn it onto the bulb mode. This is usually a B on the dial. Now put your filters on in front of your camera, and in this case I used a Nissi 10 stop filter, and open up the Pluto app on your phone. Go down to the tools section where it says ND filter, and click on that. You'll see that it has got a big round circle with the time in the middle. On the left is the base speed and on the right is the ND filter. First of all, scroll up and down on that, those two little bars under the ND filter to put in the filter that you've chosen. So in my case it was an ND 10 stop filter. Then under the base speed, scroll to the speed that you had just put in when you had took your manual shot. You'll see by scrolling up and down with the base speed that the figures inside the dial change to a different time. So it's automatically selecting the time that you require to get the correct exposure. It takes out all the guesswork. Once you've selected the correct time, you have a look within that circle and it says press to start. So you just press within that circle and it automatically triggers off your camera to the correct time that has been selected using the ND tool. How simple is that? I'm making a series of videos on YouTube on how to use your Pluto trigger or how to just generally improve your photography. So if you want to follow me, I'd love you to subscribe to my channel. And of course, hit that like button because I love to see that you've liked it. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.